one, three. First death anniversary mass for the soul of Oni Joseph Colasso and for all the intentions in the mass box. To God in gladness sing, how great his name. Give thanks to him for his marvelous deeds. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He came among his people, he dwelt among the poor. He chose of all the weakest, the humblest to be friend. To God in gladness sing, how great his name. Give thanks to him for his marvelous deeds. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we commemorate Saints, Saints Westclaus, and Saint Lawrence Rui and Companion. All three martyrs martyr themselves for the faith. St. Westclaus is even called as Good King Westclaus as he encountered his Christianity in the world which was filled with political unrest. And Lawrence Rui and Companion, they laid their life for the faith. As we remember, let's model our life in their paths by acknowledging our sins, our shortcomings, our failures, and prepare ourselves for this sacred mystery. You came to gather the nation into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come in glory with salvation for your flock. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant a joyful outcome to our prayers, O Lord, so that we who each year devoutly honor the days of the Passion of the Holy Martyrs, St. Westclaus, St. Lawrence Rui and Companion, may also imitate the constancy of their faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, Truly I know that it is so. 
But how can a man be in the right before God? If one wished to contend with him, one could not answer him in a thousand times. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has hardened himself against him and succeeded? He who removes mountains and they know it not. When he overturns them in his anger, who shakes the earth out of its place and its pillars tremble, who commands the sun and it does not rise, who seals up the stars, who alone stretched out the heavens and trampled the waves of the sea, who made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the chambers of the south, who does great things beyond searching out and marvelous things beyond number. Behold, he passes by me and I see him not. He moves on, but I do not perceive him. Behold, he snatches away. Who can turn him back? Who will say to him, what are you doing? How then can I answer him? choosing my words with him? Though I am in the right, I cannot answer him. I must appeal for mercy to my accuser. If I summoned him and he answered me, I would not believe that he was listening to my voice. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. I call to you, Lord, all day long. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the shades rise up to praise you? Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. Will your mercy be told in the grave or your faithfulness in the place of perdition? Will your wonders be known in the dark, your justice in the land of oblivion? Let my prayer come into your presence, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, and be found in Him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, as Jesus and the disciples were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, leave the dead to be buried their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And yet another said, I will follow you, Lord. But let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts his hand on the plow and looks back is fitting for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. You all have been for hiking or a trek or a journey on a hill or something? Most of you all have done that? The ones who have not done and also said nothing, try doing it. But I would like to ask you, if in case there are two hills and you want to cross over, what's the best way of doing that? Or what would be the mean of doing it? Silence? If there are two hills and you want to cross from one hill to another, either you can come down the pl and you can walk, right? Or if you want to go through and through, what is the best way? Sorry? No idea? What do you think is the best way? Or what would join two plateaus or hills together so that we can cross over? Sorry? A bridge? Someone said bridge? Yes. There's a famous saying, burn the bridge. And what does it mean? And why do I say this today? Today's reading speaks about in depth about this phrase, burn the bridge once you cross over. Because in the first reading today, we see Job, no matter how much he was oppressed, no matter how much he was, you know, tempted and tested by the Satan, but his faith in Christ never left or never let go. He always trusted and had faith unconditionally in God because he knew his God is loving, his God is compassionate, his God will take care of him. And that kept Job close and near and dear to God. And that's where his life beautifully shines forth for each one of us. In the reading of the gospel, we see three people coming and saying, I will follow you. I will follow you. I will follow you. But all had their own percepts, own way of interacting or own way of thinking how to follow. After finishing their chores, after finishing their given task, then follow. Now, Jesus doesn't comment saying that what you do is wrong. But he gives one way ahead. And he says, once you put your hand in the plow, you cannot turn back and keep looking. Either your plowing would go haywire or you won't succeed in doing it. And the clear meaning is the example or the phrase, burn the bridge once you cross. Because there won't be any turning back. The only way is now you have to stay in that hill or walk down through there and make a new path. And that is what we all are called for. Through our life, we have many challenges, many tasks. Some might let go of our hand, some we might hold on. But we are called to move further, move further so that we beautifully become witnesses for Christ because he himself never kept himself in close. But he moved forward. He went and he proceeded towards his death he accepted his sacrifice willingly for each one of us. So through his life and through the lives of the saints whom we commemorate today, St. Westclaus, St. Lawrence, Rui and Companion, all laid their life. They knew there's no other way. The best is to be true to your faith. And they stayed through. So let us also take the examples. And as we build ourselves for this challenge, let's take God's or God's ask God's help that he beautifully journeys with us and strengthens us to be true, true in humility and in innocence, to be his true followers and witnesses to each other.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, your sons and daughters, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very suffering are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give adorance to their faith. In their endurance, you grant firm results, and in their strength and struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Lord Jesus Christ. At the time you were betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Oswald, our Archbishop, and all his auxiliary bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles and all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Remembering all those who are celebrating their birthdays for anniversaries, and especially those who have asked us to pray for them, let's gather all of them at this altar. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to such your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In humility and innocency, we are called to follow Christ. So with a smile on our face, let's look at each other and offer a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the prayer and my soul shall be healed. Let us make our spiritual communion with the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
We shall take him number 124, number 124. Follow me, follow me, leave your home and family, leave your fishing nets and boats upon the shore. Leave the seed that you have sown, leave the crops you have grown, leave the people you have known and follow me. The foxes have their holes, and the swallows have their nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lie down. I do not offer comfort, I do not offer wealth, but in me will all happiness be found. Follow me, follow me, Leave your home and family, leave your fishing nets and boats upon the shore. Leave the seed that you have sown, leave the crops you have grown, leave the people you have known and follow me. If you would follow me, you must leave always behind. You must take my cross and follow on my path. You may be far from loved ones, you may be far from home, but my Father will welcome you at last. Follow me, follow me, leave your home and family, leave your fishing nets and boats upon the shore. Leave the seed that you have sown, leave the crops you have grown, leave the people you have known and follow me. It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confirm a kingdom of you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs, St. Westclaus and St. Lawrence Rui and Companion, have wonderfully made known the mysteries of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying Lord, by your life. Funeral announcement. We regret to inform you of the death of Elias de Souza husband of Benny, father of Elvis, residing at C402 Anand Gardens, Anand Park, Kandarpada. Funeral leaves residence on 28th September at 3.45 p.m. for mass at IC Church at 4.15 p.m., followed by burial in IC Cemetery. Eternal grace grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. Amen. 
the novena to our lady of perpetual succor come holy ghost create bless and in our souls take up thy rest come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made send forth thy spirit and they shall be created and thou shalt renew the face of the earth let us pray o god who doesn't teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of the holy spirit grant us by the same spirit to have right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. An act of contrition. My, My God, God, I believe in thee, thee I, I hope in thee. thee. I, I love thee above all, all things, with all my soul, soul with all my heart, and, and with all my strength. strength. I, love I love thee because thou art infinitely good, good and worthy of being loved. And, and because I love thee, I repent with all my heart of having offended thee, have mercy on me, a sinner. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Invocation to Our Lady, we fly to thy patronage, O Holy, o Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but ever deliver us from all dangers, and gloriously bless Virgin. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, thou whose name very inspires confidence. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may love and serve God with all my heart. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may never neglect prayer. Help me, O loving Mother. In temptation against the holy virtues of purity. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may quickly rise again should I have the misfortune to fall into sin. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may courageously resist the seduction of the world, evil companions, bad books, and slims. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may often and devoutly receive the sacrament and fulfill my Christian duties and duties of my state. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may be patient and resigned in all trials and troubles of life. Help me, O loving Mother. In sickness and pain, in poverty and distress. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may not delay my conversion from day to day. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may ever love and serve thee and invoke thy assistance. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may be able to lead others to love, serve, and pray to thee. Help me, O loving Mother. When death is near and about to pass into eternity. Help me, O loving Mother. To my last hour, to my last breath, do thou watch over me. Help me, O loving Mother. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of Perpetual Succor, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who in order to assist the human race, has willed the Blessed Virgin Mary to become the mother of thy begotten Son, grant we beseech thee that in, by intercession we may avoid the contingency of sin and serve thee with a pure heart through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Novena prayers. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, behold me, a miserable sinner, at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee call by all the refuge and hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth thy hands to me, a poor sinner, who recommend and dedicate myself to thee as a perpetual servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge as I believe to my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen because I have not recourse to thee. I know that with the help of thy I shall conquer 
I know that thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear least in the occasion of falling, I should cease to call upon thee, and so should lose my soul. This then is the grace I seek from thee, and I beg of thee as far as I know how and can, to obtain it with me, namely in the souls of hell, always to have recourse to thee, and say to thee, O Mary, help me, mother of perpetual succor, suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, succor the miserable, help the faint-hearted. Cheer those that weep, pray for people, be advocate of the clergy. Intercede for all devout women, let all find their aid who implore thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us, O Lady, a refuge, a helper in need and tribulation. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us thy mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate, to be our mother, ever ready to succor us, grant we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore our maternal aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of thy redemption, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Mother dear, oh, pray for me While far from heaven and thee I wander in a fragile bark O last tempestuous sea O virgin mother from thy throne so bright and blessed above protect thy child and cheer my path with thy sweet smile of love mother dear oh pray for me and never cease thy care Till in heaven eternally Thy love and bliss I share The Memorare Remember, Remember most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary That never it was known, known That anyone, anyone who fled to thy protection Implored thy help a sought thy intercession, were left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Blessing of the sick. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord God, that these your sons and daughters may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of blessed Mary, ever virgin, be delivered from present sorrows and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you to defend you, within you to preserve you, before you to guide you, after you to guard you, above you to bless you, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Succor, may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mary, from thy sacred image, 
with those eyes so sadly sweet. Mother of perpetual circle, see us kneeling at thy feet. In thy arms, thy child thou bearest, so so full thy joy and woe. What thy bliss, how deep thy sorrows, mother thou alone canst know.